Welcome to Backyard Plus. In this video, we are going to show you how to retrofit your Tiger River Spa with the 76836 Eagle Box, the 76845 Control Panel, and the 74930 LED Light. Here are the tools you will need. Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, needle nose vice grips, putty knife, handheld router, black sharpie, silicone adhesive, a caulking gun, a crescent wrench, a shop vac, and safety glasses. Step 1. Break the adhesive seal around the control head with your putty knife. Step 2. Disconnect the ribbon cable from the motherboard and remove the control panel from the spa. Step 3. Using your putty knife, remove the old adhesive from the bar top. Step 4. Remove the back cover of the new control panel to use as a guide for measuring the new opening you are going to cut. Step 5. Place the control panel cover on the bar top and trace a line around the entire edge of the cover using your Sharpie. Step 6. Put on your safety glasses and install a 3 quarter inch straight router bit in your Drillmaster quarter inch trim router. Step 7. Cut a new opening in the bar top by carefully cutting along the sharpie lines. The router works best when it is held down firmly on the flat surface of the bar top. Step 8. Check the fitment of the new control panel. Make sure it fits snugly in the new opening. Step 9. Remove all debris from the bar top with the shop vac. Prepare the surface of the bar top around the new opening by scrubbing it with soap and water. Remove all dirt and debris from the area you are going to seal. Step 10. Prepare the Dow 839 silicone adhesive. Place it in the caulking gun and puncture the seal. Now cut the tip off with wire cutters and begin caulking. Place a quarter inch wide bead around the entire perimeter of the underside of the control panel. Push the control panel cable down through the opening and into the equipment compartment. Press the control panel down firmly on the bar top to make a good seal. Use a paper towel to clean up any excess silicone on the bar top around the control panel. Step 11. Open up the IQ2020 control box and disconnect the sensors, spa light, ozone, circulation pump, jet pump, heater, incoming power, and bonding wires.
Remove the two bolts that hold the control box to the mounting bracket. Remove the control box from the spa. Step 12. Remove the old spa light by simply pulling the LED light housing away from the mounts on the wall. Remove the old light from the housing and install the new 74930 LED light. Now line up the mounting holes and press the LED light housing back onto the wall. Step 13. Install the new 76836 Eagle Box by securing it to the bracket with the two mounting bolts. Step 14. Using your crescent wrench, remove the old thermistors from the heater and install the new ones. Be sure to install the new O-rings with the new thermistors. Step 15. Remove the heater ground flag post terminal from the old heater relay board and install it on the new heater relay board. Step 16. Push the heater cord up through the bottom of the control box and secure it with a strain relief clamp. Connect the green wire to the heater ground post and the black and white wires to H1 and H2. Step 17. Plug the control panel connector into the control head port. Step 18. Route the control and high limit sensors through the side of the control box and plug them into the appropriate ports. The 4 pin connector plugs into the reg therm port. The two pin connector plugs into the limit therm port. Make sure you plug the sensors in correctly, otherwise the power and ready lights will flash and the heater and jet pump will not operate. Step 19, plug the adapter into the spa light cable and route the LED spa light cable through the side of the control box. Plug the spa light into zone 1 
on the motherboard. Step 20. Push the jet pump, circ pump, and ozone cables up through the bottom of the control box and secure each one with the strain relief clamp. Plug them into the appropriate terminals on the motherboard. Step 21, connect the incoming power. In this video, we have wired the spa to run on 120 volts. Make sure you have a jumper between terminals six and seven. You must also have a jumper between terminals four and five. And last but not least, you need a wire jumper between terminals two and six. See the instructions on your control box lid for wiring 240 volt convertible spas and 240 volt permanently connected spas. Secure the green ground wire to the ground lug. Using your small flathead screwdriver, press down on the tab just above where the wire goes in and push the white neutral wire into terminal seven. Push the black hot wire into terminal four. Make sure all the wires are securely fastened to the terminal block. Step 22, install the pressure switch jumper, 72768 on the pressure switch port. Make sure you jump the middle and right pin. Step 23, install the IQ2020 box lid and connect the copper bonding wires to the bonding terminal. Thanks for watching. Our goal here at Backyard Plus is to save you money by avoiding costly service calls for repairs that you could easily do by yourself. If you have any questions or need a place in order, feel free to give us a call at 805-541-9000 or visit us online at backyardplus.com.